Hello plant friends, welcome back to the Plant Prince PH. Today, we're going to unbox and pot this aloes I bought from Belfiore Succulents PH. After watching a video from Cactus Caffeine, I was inspired to resume collecting aloes. I actually started collecting aloes way back in 2019 and had a peak collection around late 2021 with a full table dedicated to aloes in my greenhouse. I had hundreds of different mother plants of aloe, TCT, and Belfiore hybrids, and thousands of seedlings I hybridized on my own. Sadly, when the aloe hype started in the Philippines, thousands of newly imported aloes were brought here and some of them carried some pests. I bought some since they were beautiful, but my mistake was not quarantining them. In less than a year, my aloe collection was wiped out by orchid leaf mites. That is why it is very important to buy plants from trusted seller or someone knowledgeable about that plant to ensure you receive a healthy and pest-free plant. Anyway, this first aloe I unwrapped was actually a Christmas gift from them. It already has two small pots. Just look at how beautiful their hybrids are. When it comes to aloes, I can only 100% trust one nursery, which is Belfiore Succulent PH. Just look at how meticulous their packaging is. Every leaf is carefully wrapped in tissue. The box is full of feelers to cushion the aloes in transit. And there are some desiccants to make sure no moisture accumulates in the box. If you check their pitch, they have hundreds of beautiful aloe hybrids with different colors, forms, and sizes for sale. The second aloe is one of my favorites. Since 2019, I have loved red and textured aloes. They stand out in my green and white cacti collection. Look at those red teeth and scales that contrast with the grayish blue-green leaf color. Who would have thought that a simple green aloe would have this color and texture after a couple of generations of hybridizing? What are the components of my aloe potting mix? Soil mix or potting mix is one of the most important things when it comes to taking care of cacti and succulents. This potting mix is the updated version I use for my aloes. It is simpler and cheaper compared to my previous one. I base this one on the potting mix of Belfiore Succulent PH, then tweak it a little bit. The potting mix is composed of 7 parts pomice which is around 3 to 6 mm in size. Pomice is your friend when you are taking care of cacti and succulents. Pomice is a lightweight volcanic rock with numerous cavities or vesicles on its surface. It is porous and has a unique structure with air pockets, which allows for excellent drainage and provides aeration around the roots. This is important for aloe, as it helps prevent root rot and fungal diseases that can occur in compacted, poorly aerated soil. Moreover, it is cheap, long-lasting, and has a neutral pH, which means it won't significantly alter the acidity or alkalinity of the potting mix. The next components are 3 parts organic. You can use any organic materials that is available in your area, as long as it is clean and weed free. My combination is 1 part coco peat. Coco peat is a renewable organic material commonly used in horticulture. It has a natural resistance to pests and diseases, contributing to a healthier plant growth. It is also less prone to microbial degradation compared to some other organic materials and retains the right moisture to keep the aloe roots active. Next is one part carbonized rice hull. Carbonized rice hull is a byproduct of rice processing that has undergone controlled burning. It improves soil structure, drainage, and aeration. It also has insulation properties helping regulate soil temperature and creating a more stable environment for the aloe roots. Lastly, one part quality grade vermicast or vermicompost. Vermicompost is an organic fertilizer produced by earthworms. It's rich in nutrients and beneficial microorganisms that improve soil structure, enhance growth, and boost disease resistance. The one I use is high quality with balanced NPK and micronutrients. Since I use vermicast, I will no longer add slow-release fertilizer. By the way, you don't need to strictly follow this potting mix. The recommended ratio or percentage from Belfiore Succulent pH is 70% or 7 parts inorganic and 30% or 3 parts organic. There are a lot of tutorials or potting mix recipe available online. Do not be afraid of experimenting to find what works best for you. Just make sure that the potting mix drains well, contains necessary nutrients, is well aerated, and is free of insects and weeds. Remember, ensuring a healthy aloes begin with choosing the right potting mix. You could add or spray some water if the potting mix looks dry. 
This will also help distribute the soil components evenly. I'll just mix this until the components are well distributed. As you can see, my potting mix has the right amount of organic and inorganic components. Now that we have made the potting mix, let us pot the aloe. Here are the things that I use in potting. The first one is pumice. I add this at the bottom of the pot. Next one is the potting mix we made. For the top dressing, I will be using akadama. I also put in Starkel G. This is a granular systemic insecticide from Thailand. Then of course, some potting tools. For the pot, I will be using this white octagon pot. This pot has feet and lots of drainage holes. The feet of the pot allows air to enter the bottom of the pot, and it also allows water to drain properly. The first thing I do is to add some pumice at the bottom of the pot to cover the holes. This will keep the organic components of my potting mix from washing away when watering. Just a little amount will do. Next step is to add the potting mix up to a few centimeters away from the rim of the pot. Before placing the aloe, make sure to remove the dried leaves. If you notice, the aloe's roots are already trimmed. This way, it is easier to plant the aloe and it will root faster. This will also avoid root rot by removing the dead roots. Position the aloe, then add more potting mix if needed. Next, I will be adding Starkel G. This is for insect prevention. Starkel G is a granular systemic insecticide. It protects the aloe from insects including those hidden in the leaf nodes or crevices and roots. Since the aloes have been root trimmed, I'll just make a hole at the center. Place the aloe, then push the potting mix ensuring that it will cover the roots of the aloe. Next, add the top dressing. I chose Akadama because I like the clean, earthy look of it that contrasts with the aloe. Akadama also changes color when it is wet. This is useful especially if you always forget when you last watered your aloe. I just put a little bit around the aloe until it covers the potting mix. And there you have it, a newly potted aloe belfiore hybrid. You can use tweezers to remove exposed potting mix material. Here are the rest of my newly potted aloes. The first two are also Belfiore hybrids which I bought from the horticulture plant show. For the sun exposure of aloes, make sure to provide long filtered sun exposure to keep their colors. For watering, water when the potting mix is dry or about to dry. For the meantime, I will be lightly watering this aloe for at least a month. Enough to moisten the potting mix and encourage root growth. After a month, I will water them fully until the water comes out of the bottom of the pot. For fertilizer, I do not fertilize my aloes. The nutrients from the vermicompost are enough. I'll be placing this aloe in a bright area for the meantime while they are still adjusting. I will be quarantining these aloes for at least a month before introducing them to my collection. Here is the updated look of these aloes after around 3 months of being potted. You will notice that they have grown significantly but still maintain their colors. Check out those beautiful teeth. This one has a pop already. 
I will let it grow a little bit before I repot it in a separate pot. This one just recently threw the flower. Its pups are also big and ready for repotting. This one is my favorite. Just look at those teeth. Its color also are beautiful. I love how the leaf color contrasts the color of its teeth. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more cactus and succulents video. Until next time, happy planting!